Hello everyone and welcome back to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems. Today's lesson is on creating a spotlight. When we come up into our drawing, we can see we're in a camera view already. The spotlight that we want to put in is on the other side of the building. So the first thing we will do is go to the View tab. We're in the Visualization Workflow, View tab. And uh, let's go uh, launch the Save View dialog box. Double click on View of Platform 1, and then left click in the screen, and that will bring us to the other side of the building. Now we can dismiss the Save View dialogs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cursor, just hover it right over this door here, and then roll my wheel away from me on my mouse. And I can zoom in to the sconce that we're going to be using right here. We can do a couple things to bring this up so we can see this a little bit better. Uh, we can um, change our display style instead of smooth with shadows, just go uh, smooth. And then click on the screen and we see the edges lighten up a little bit. Uh, we can also turn up our lighting and we can see it better now. Now what we want to do is we want to rotate our view a little bit so I can see the top and the bottom of that sconce better. So I'm going to go up here to rotate view. And when we first hit rotate view, the center of the rotation is going to be the center of the model. So what I want to do is I want to force the center of our rotation to the sconce. So when I rotate the view, it doesn't rotate off the view someplace. So I'm going to hit my left button, right button at the same time and snap a point on the sconce. And then left click, and then we can see that we can now tilt this down a little bit. And I can see the top of the sconce and the bottom of the sconce pretty well. Left click to accept, right click to stop. Now uh, I can also check to see if I have uh, spotlights on this already by going up here to view attributes and turning on my construction lines you can see the other sconces have these little flashlights and that's a spotlight and what we want to do is we want to put these spotlights uh, on this sconce as well so let's go to the home tab and let's click on the light manager and what i want to do first is uh, just come up here to place light now the uh, second icon on top is a spotlight we're going to use a preset of a 250 watt halogen bulb. We want the cell size to be 300. That's the size of the flashlight. And then what we can do is we move our cursor on the screen and you can see a little flashlight on your cursor. I'm going to turn my snap on, but I'm going to snap it. I'm going to snap it to the middle of the outside line here. And we have to place two points for a spotlight. So we have to place the light first. And then we have to tell it which way to shine, shine down or shine up. Now, the AccuDraw rotation right now is in a V rotation. So I want to make it a front rotation. So I'm going to hit F. And that makes it a front rotation. And then I can tell it to shine this spotlight down. And I want to make sure that it's going straight down. Left click there. And we've got our one spotlight. Now we can do the other one. We're going to snap it to the middle of the bottom. Place the light. We're still in a front rotation with AccuDraw. I can move my cursor straight up and index it and left click to accept. So now we have our two spotlights. We can get rid of the place light dialog box and we can come in here and just name these. So that was the only two that are on right now Spotlight 9 and Spotlight 10. Those are the ones that we just placed. Just highlight them, come in here and highlight the name and you can name it anything that you want. I would stay with the naming convention that we have here. Sconce dash zero one. Uh, this is a down, so I'm going to put in DN and then a 22 in parentheses. Hit enter and that will rename the light. And you can go ahead and do that to the other one as well. We do have to do one more thing with this light though. 
if we have to move them into the center. And we can use the regular move command to do that. So I'm going to hold my right mouse button down and go to move. I'm going to touch the spotlight here, click on it, go to a top rotation in my AccuDraw. So I'm hitting T on my keyboard. And then I can move it straight back. And I want to just move it back enough to get it into the middle of the rectangle. Right click to stop. And then we can move the bottom one as well. And there we have it. We placed two spotlights. Thanks a lot for watching. Join us on our next video. We'll talk to you later. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.